short tutorial about arithmetic sequence and arithmetic series in word problem. problem. Let's first talk about arithmetic sequence. What is arithmetic sequence? A sequence of numbers such that the difference between the consecutive terms is constant. It is made by adding the same value each time. And we're going to use this formula a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 multiplied by d. a sub n represents the n term. a sub 1 represents the first term. n represents the n term. And d represents the common difference. Common difference is the number added to each term of n arithmetic sequence to get the next term. It can be positive or negative, whole numbers or fractions. It is denoted by d. Our first problem is... The first term of an arithmetic sequence is equal to 6, and the common difference is equal to 3. Find formula for the nth term and the value of the 50th term. For our solution, use the value of the common difference, 3, and the first term, 6, in the formula for the nth term given above. Now that we have the given, we can easily solve it. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 multiplied by d. For instance, a sub 50 is equal to 6 plus quantity of 50 minus 1 multiplied by 3. First, we're gonna subtract 50 and 1. Then, multiply it by 3. Then, add 6. And now, our 50th term is 153. Now that you understand arithmetic sequence, let's move on to arithmetic series. So, what is arithmetic series? It is the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. And is denoted by S sub n, where n is the size of the series. In this topic, we're going to use two formulas. The previous one, and S sub n is equals to n quantity of A sub 1 plus A sub n divided by 2. S sub n represents the sum of n terms. Now, for the first problem. A car travels 300 meters the first minute, 420 meters the next minute, 540 meters the third minute, and so on in an arithmetic sequence. What's the total distance the car travels in 5 minutes? First, we're gonna find for the givens. A sub n is equals to 5. A sub 1 is equals to 300, and our n term is 5. Since d is not given, we're going to solve for it. We'll subtract the second term and the first term. For instance, 420 minus 300 is equal to 120. Now, our common difference is equal to 120. As what I said, we're going to use the first formula. For instance, a sub 5 is equal to 300 plus quantity of 5 minus 1 multiplied by 120. First, subtract 5 and 1, then multiply it by 120, then add 300. Now, we have our nth term. We're going to use the second formula to find the total distance. The given our S sub n is equals to 5, because we're going to find the total distance of the car that travels in 5 minutes. Then n is 5, our first term is 300 and our n term is 780. For instance, we have s sub 5 is equals to 5 quantity of 300 plus 780 divided by 2. First, we're going to add 300 and 780. Then multiply it by 5, then divide it by 2. is equals to 2700. And now we have our s sub 5 which is 2,700. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. God bless.